Hi folks, my name is Tobias, this is Siggy, and today we want to show you how to replace a standard, bulky and pricey optical encoder with a small sized SMD GMR sensor from Infineon. Siggy will give you the introduction to that and will showcase you how we did that. First I want to give you an introduction of the setup. So in the center we have the motor, on this side we have an optical encoder. Everything is powered by two power supplies and we have an oscilloscope in order to show you the signals. So this optical encoder is a standard solution and as you can see here it's quite bulky and even it needs to be dust protected in order not to have dust in this optical encoder. On this side we have the magnetic system. This consists of a magnet, what is on the shaft, and we have the TLE 5012B. And this TLE 5012B supports the same incremental interface. As well, we use this Infineon BLDC ePower Shield, what is supported by an Arduino sketch, in order to now to control the motor. Here you see the optical encoder. Here you see the TLE 5012B, here we have the mounted magnet on the shaft and here you can see that it's a diametral magnet. Now I want to show you the signals of the oscilloscope of the two sensors. As you can see here on the top we have the GMR 5012B Infineon sensor and on the bottom we have the optical encoder. Both of them have an index counter in order to show you the zero position and both of them now have the incremental interface and if you do it now a little bit bigger then you can see with the TLA 5012B the resolution is higher compared to the optical solution. The benefit here if you have a higher resolution is that you save power and the ripple of the motor is less compared to a lower resolution. So one of the big advantages here with this Infineon sensor is that you get an absolute angle at the beginning when you power up the sensor and this I will show you right now. So motor is now in standstill position. I power up here the sensor and as you can see here at the beginning the sensor pulls out here in a 1 megahertz frequency the absolute position and gives this in an incremental way. And the next advantage is you can run an SPI interface in parallel to the incremental interface the SPI interface supported safety features and you can read out flex if there may be something wrong on the sensor. Thanks Siggy for the great demonstration and explanation. Yeah, for the rest of you please stay tuned and visit us on infineon.com/sensors. Bye, see you the next time at infineon.com.